Welcome to Stewart Park. Uh, Stewart Park sits on the corner of Scott and 10th Street in the city of Wassa on Wassa's East Hill. Stewart Park is one of the uh, parks in the city of Wassa that has been here for almost 100 years. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the history and a little bit of the, about the function of this park. It's been with us, like I say, for 100 years and it has a strong history, a strong place in our community, a strong place within the park system of the city of Wassa. So we hope you enjoy this little tour of the park as we show you it today. Stewart Park is made in, in honor of Margaret and Alexander Stewart. Margaret Stewart gave this property to the city of Wassa in 1926. Margaret was the widow of Alexander Stewart, noted lumberman in the city of Wassa for many years. Alexander came from Canada, settled in Wassa, had his big sawmill eventually throughout the later parts of the 1800s. In 1894, Alexander Stewart was elected to the Congress of the United States, moved to Washington, D.C., along with his family, and resided in, in Washington, D.C. until his death in 1914. Margaret, in 1926, donated this piece of land, which was across the street from their big house on 10th Street, and donated it to the city with the provisions that she would design it the way she wanted it. She, it became a very popular place in the early 1920s. As you can see, it's designed in an amphitheater type of way. Margaret liked that. She took that idea from California amphitheaters, and she brought that here to the city of Wassa. So in 1926, when she donated this land, she, as I said, she brought some ar uh, architects into the city of Wausau to design this, and it became a very popular place. The big house, the Alexander House across the street on 10th Street, was eventually raised. All that is now is the carriage house. But they were a very influential part of the city for a long time. Alexander Stewart was, of course, part of the Wausau Group, with heavy investments in paper mills, sawmills, a lot of the electric utilities that were going on in the city. Anything mentioning of the Wasser Group, Alexander Stewart was certainly a part of that. And this is a tribute really to his memory and his great influence in this city. When Mrs. Stewart gave this property to the city of Wasa as a park, one of her er early desires was that it shape as an amphitheater. She had learned this from California and really liked that theme. So when she hired the architects to design this park, she hired them expressly to design some kind of amphitheater. And we can see as in the amphitheater, not only the stage area here, but the terrace, a wonderful spot for public performances for the city of Wausau. This was one of the early public performance areas in the city. In the 1920s, there wasn't much. This really came to be a public performance area throughout our history, mostly dance. Uh, local dance companies, of course, have used it for many years, but it came also as a public performance space for other theatrical venues that were put on by the city. But of course, in addition to the local performances that were being held, there was also other public reception areas. The, the, for instance, the 1929 Winter Frolic Queen was crowned here. So the city used this space as a public area for events. In addition to public performance space, there was other occasions. For instance, John Wood's funeral, a local aviator, had his funeral here. So the city used this opportunity, this space, for other public events that would really bring and show off this Stewart Park. And I'll also direct you to the trees that we have in this park. They are not original growth to the city, but they are, I think, planted earlier than the 1920s. They were noted in some of the newspaper articles that this was one of the key provisions of this park was the very noted white pine, a great asset in this park and it continues to be quite a notable space for this park and the trees certainly do add to it. One of the interesting things about Stewart Park is that it sits in the East Hill Historic District. It's on the National Register and it's noted not only for this park but for also some of the architectural features of some of the houses in the neighborhood. So when you're visiting Stewart Park 
Take a look at some of the neighborhoods. The houses reflect a great deal of the history of the city and the architectural styles that really do reflect the growth of the city and specifically of this East Hill Historic District. Thank you for viewing this uh, little portrait of Stewart Park uh, on the corner of 10th and Scott here in, on the east side of the city of Wassa. Stewart Park is certainly one of those great parks and thank you again for watching this program on Stewart Park.